Hi, I'm Danny Molazon, RFFAE with Richardson RFPD, and today we want to share some information with you on one of our newest reference designs. It's a five watt small cell infrastructure design that we're designing for applications that can include uh, five watt average power uh, small cell applications. So essentially what we have here is the RF front end that could interface to a wideband transceiver circuit like what's been introduced recently from analog devices, their new Mykonos platform, the AD937X. And so we have a lot of components, a lot of the latest and greatest components from many of our vendors that we wanted to showcase in this design. So I'll step you through the actual components that we have both on the transmit chain and also on the receiver chain. So on the transmit chain, coming from the Mykonos platform, we actually have two CoreVolt devices that are serving as pre-driver and drivers for our TX signal chain. We have a Corvo TQP369180 device for our pre-driver and also a TQP 7M9103 for the actual driver. These parts are both available in SOT89, which make them very easy for designing input and output matching and also the bias circuits. They're very good in gain. Collectively, we get about 31 dB of gain. And what's probably best is that the gain flatness is very good, which is ideal for DBT systems that we're going to be uh, characterizing this board for. So coming off of the driver, we actually have a device from NXP. It's the Atom chip, and Atom is the Advanced Doherty Alignment Module. And this part is ideal for any sort of Doherty PA applications where you need to maintain proper phase and amplitude alignments between your carrier and your peaking amplifier legs of your Doherty. So that part actually drives another NXP device, which is the actual PA. This is a second generation AirFast 2 technology, LDMOS PA, 28 volts, and it's a very high performance part in terms of power, gain, linearity, and efficiency. It's configured in a asymmetrical Doherty application, so it gives us really good performance in that type amplifier. So the output of this uh, Doherty PA actually is the part that uh, we're getting from Anarin, which is a Doherty combiner chip. So this actually is very helpful in providing all of the proper impedance terminations to the carrier and the peaking amplifier portions of the Doherty amplifier. So it's a very nice uh, part to have in the system. So coming off of that Doherty combiner part, we actually have a, another device from Anarin. Um, it's a 30 dB coupler, one of their new femto size uh, devices, so very small footprint and also very low insertion loss. It's 0.15 dB insertion loss. So coming off of the coupled port from that coupler, we actually feed it into another power divider from Anarin. Um, from that power divider, we actually go into an RMS RF detector circuit from analog devices. That's the ADL 5904, one of the newest parts they've introduced here recently. It's a very nice part in terms of detection range, about 45 dB uh, detection range, very low current consumption part, little three millimeter on the side device. And that's a helpful part for generating the RF observation signal that we actually feed back into the Mykonos device for closed loop operation. So coming off of the direct port of the coupler, we actually feed that into a Skyworks circulator. This is a very robust device for band 28, which is our initial focus. Um, it can handle up to 130 watts CW power, very low insertion loss, 0.25 dB of insertion loss. But what's really neat about this part is that between uh, ports two and three, there's a 30 dB attenuator. So it's very nice in monitoring the reflected power. We actually can feed that reflected signal into another ADL 5904 RF detector circuit and really have a good handle on our reflective power. And so the final part in our TX chain is a ceramic monoblock duplexer from CTS. Um, CTS has done a really good job to shrink this down to one component size. Typically for five watt systems, you have two bandpass filters that are used back to back. So it's a little bit more challenging in terms of layout. So again, having one simple component is a really nice job in terms of interfacing to the antenna and overall board layout. On the receiver side, we have an LNA device from NXP. This is a very high performance LNA. The noise figures are down to 0.36 dB at 900 megahertz and 0.46 dB at 700 megahertz. That's the MML09231 part. And so um, those are all of the main parts in the TX and the RX chain. We also have quite a few connectors on board, as you can see here, surface mount SMAs and addition, uh, additional edge connectors as well from Cinch, one of our other vendors. And then in addition to these components on a board, from a software standpoint, we're actually having this system evaluated in a DPD environment using nano semiconductor um, DPD algorithms. So again, one of our other partners that we have available. 
So again, this summarizes everything for our five watt uh, small cell reference design. So for more information, please visit our website at richardsonrfpd.com. Thank you.